Hey guys, I finally found some time to begin editing the footage of the woodworking project I've been telling you about. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, I've built myself a strip canoe. What I've built is a Gail Gail Patrick puddle duck. I picked up his book, Building a Strip Canoe from Amazon for about 30 bucks. It comes with full size plans for eight different canoes, including the 14 foot puddle duck. I was also in contact with Trevor from uh, Ashes Still Water Boats, and he was kind enough to send over some plans as well. I did, however, decide on the puddle duck for my first canoe for a few reasons. For one, the puddle duck uses less stations, meaning less lumber and less cost. Another reason was because I had two friends who built a puddle duck in the past, so they could walk me through any issues that I may have. And the third reason was because I could use the same strong back that my buddy used for his canoe and I wouldn't have to build one. So shout out to Trevor over at Ashes Still and hopefully I'll still get to build one of his boats someday. So what you guys see me doing here is um, I trace the plans for the puddle duck onto some paper and then uh, I'll cut it out of the paper and I'll trace it onto some Bristol board, a little more rigid uh, you know, construction paper type material and uh, that'll make it easier to transfer onto the lumber for cutting out the frames for the canoe. So here I am now transferring the plans onto some one inch OSB and uh, then I'll cut that out with the jigsaw all the stations here and uh, as you can see I'm numbering the stations so I don't get them mixed up and uh, I got a good deal on this OSB because some of it was damaged so I think I paid about $25 a sheet I used a full sheet and I think I cut one station out of the other sheet So all I'm using to make the strips is one by four inch spruce lumber, uh, eight foot lengths. Um, I couldn't get my hands on any cedar. Plus I wanna be as cost efficient as possible building this canoe. I don't even know at this point if it was gonna turn out the way I pictured it or if I was even gonna be able to do it, you know? so. This is what I went with. I think I paid about 50 bucks for 20 pieces and this turned out to be enough to do the canoe. I almost forgot to mention but I milled the strips a quarter inch thick. Here is the strong back my buddy let me borrow and I'm about to set up all the stations on the strong back and uh, what I'll do here is pull a string line from bow to stern and I'll line up the stations so they're perfectly centered under the string line.
Okay, so all the got all the frames up. Already getting ahead of myself here. I went to put the first strip on. I realized I forgot to put the painter's tape on here, which stops uh, stops it from uh, gluing the canoe to your frames, right? So when you take all this apart, your strips are not glued to your frames. They're just on the tape, and then you can sand the tape off from the inside or whatever. But I started putting the tape on, and I realized I had uh, a bit of a hump here. See that? Just a little bit of a hump right there. So again, I'm getting ahead of myself now. I'm rushing a little bit. I should uh, slow down and size things up, like... Once you go past something here and, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to go back and fix it, right? So I got to take my time a little bit and size everything up before I, uh, you know, I was just getting excited to uh, start putting some strips on. But that's not what I want to do. I want to get everything right before I get that started. So I'm just going to grab the belt sander and sand that little hump out of there. Then I'll eyeball everything again and uh, see how it looks. Okay, I got the first two strips on one side. The reason I did two strips on one side before I went to the other side is because uh, I had a join here on this first one. Plus I had a little break right here on this knot. So I wanted to put another strip on top to uh, strengthen it. But that was pretty hard to get that started. You know, you got pretty pretty good twist down at the end a bend and a twist so took a little bit of work but I'm just getting used to it so hopefully the other side will go a little smoother and I'll probably tackle that tomorrow because it's getting late and I'm gonna head in okay so I got first two strips on this side that side so I'm gonna Put another strip on now but I gotta make sure I don't have the join the joints all lined up see I have one here I have one here so the next one now I'm gonna make sure it joins here somewhere so they're not in the um same uh, same place so I don't want to do anything to compromise the strength of the canoe you know when it's done Got clamps Holding the joints together until the glue dries. This is the side I just done. Got those two strips on. It's uh, tedious work, but I'm having fun with it so far. Just starting to get to the area where it's going to start rounding up now. 
So we're going to have little gaps here because I don't have the bead and cove. That's all right. I don't mind that. Going to be a whole lot of sand. And as you can see, some, some strips were wider than the others. Okay, guys, we're starting to get somewhere now. Starting to uh, round up a little bit here. So we're getting a little bit more more of a gap here because we're rounding up and we're rounding up and of course where I didn't use the bead and cove I don't have a bead and cove on these strips you know it's gonna it's gonna cause a little bit of gap there but anyway picked up a couple new tools got a fine tooth saw fine tooth on that side a little more aggressive uh, teeth on that side but uh, it's excellent, excellent saw. Also got this little hand planer. It's almost like a like a cheese grater, and that helps if there's any loose material or anything. Just shaves it off. And also, once I pull all the staples and everything, I can use this then to get the excess glue off. Okay, so I'm at a point right now, you know, I'm getting up onto the bottom of the canoe, getting everything, uh, you know, I'm past this point, so not perfectly uh, centered there by the look of it, but not a big deal. I'm sure it'll still float, but anyway, I need to, uh, I'm going to clean up the floor and stuff. I've already cleaned up a little bit, but I'm going to take these wood horses out. And uh, I'm going to lower this right to the floor. So I'm going to take the strong back, lift it. I'm going to get the wife and kids to help. We'll lift the canoe, attach to the strong back, of course. You know, because it still has the frames attached to the strong back. So all of it is... Uh, Still one big piece as of right now. Lift all that up, take the wood horses out, lay it right down on the floor. That'll give me, uh, you know, I'll be able to work over, over the canoe then until we get all this closed in. And then once that's all done, we'll get it outside for some sanding. Lots of sanding. Actually, I gotta pull all these staples and everything first. I had a hard time getting uh, getting these strips to um, twist and hold with the nails. These nails that kept riding up the nails and twisting, so I had to buy some screws. And that's what I've been using for the last, I don't know, half a dozen rows probably, as you can see. But when, I, when everything is glued and, and all one piece, I'll take those out. And uh, put some wood filler in there and sand it all. So it might not look like a piece of art when it's done, but as long as it's functional for my first uh, build, my first canoe build, I'll be pretty happy, I think. So there we go, got her down on the floor. Might be a little rough on the back working on this now. Slouched over, but at least I can reach it now. So I got a bunch of strips left over there. Hopefully enough to do this. If not, I'll just rip some more. But yeah, ready to get her closed in. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching the first episode of the canoe build here. I really don't want to make these videos too long because I know they can be a little on the boring side. But really can't wait until you guys see the finished product. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.